In this video, we will be going over the waveform editor, common tips for the use of VisiPitch, and hotkeys that can be used throughout the program. When you first open the waveform editor, this is the window you will see. At the top left, you have pull down menu buttons, and directly below, you will have a toolbar with many commonly used functions in the program. In the case of the waveform editor, these functions are to record and edit audio signals that can be used in other VisiPitch modules. This general layout of the menu the toolbar, and the windows underneath is true for all of the VisiPitch modules aside from iCAPE-V, the auditory feedback tools, and the voice gains. Let's begin by recording an audio sample. You can do so by pressing the record button or by pressing the F12 key. You can then stop recording by pressing the spacebar. This method of starting and stopping recording is true throughout VisiPitch. Let's begin. Uh... In window A, you will see your recorded audio signal. To play the audio signal back, you can press the play button in the toolbar. Uh... You can also play the audio sample from a specific point by going to the speak from mouse mode button in the toolbar hovering over where you would like the signal to start playing from and holding down the left mouse button. Notice that it only plays for the length of time that I'm holding the left mouse button down for. Once you are happy with the signal that you have recorded, you can save it for use in other modules. You can do so by pressing the save button in the toolbar or by going to file, save, or by pressing control S. You can then name the file accordingly and save it for further post-processing. Let's record another signal, but first we must purge the active window to remove the current signal that has been recorded. You can do so by pressing the F2 key or by going to Window, Purge Active Window. Let's record another sample by pressing the F12 key. Uh... As you can see in this particular sample, there was a lot of clipping in the beginning of the recording. In VisiPitch, clipping is denoted by the signal turning red. You do not want to see any clipping in any of your recordings as this will affect the results. You can remove this by selecting an area of data and trimming it out. To select the data, hold down the shift key and then click and drag the left mouse button to select the area of data. You will see these two blue bars which denote the selected area. We can then go to Edit, Trim Waveform Data, and in this case we'll remove the data in the selection. You can now see that that data was removed and I have a clean signal. You will also notice in the Edit menu there is a variety of other options for editing audio signals. These can be used for a variety of reasons depending on what you need to record for the other VisiPitch modules. Also, take note that in many of the VisiPitch modules, you can generate a report based on the recorded audio signal, and you can save those reports. However, if you don't save the original source signal, you will not be able to run the report again at a later time. If you only have the report, you will not be able to run any other analysis on that, the signal that was used for that report as you no longer have the source signal. So it is often important to always save your source data. If you have any additional questions about any of the functions of VisiPitch, please go to the help menu to review the instructions for use.